Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's move on to the telescope. Let's take a look at what the magnification of a telescope is. A telescope is, well, kind of looks like a big microscope, but there's some major differences. In the front, you still have an objective lens. In the back, you still have an eyepiece. In the case of a telescope, we call the eyepiece the Barlow or the Barlow lens. We tend to look through the Barlow lens, and the way you see the image is as follows. You have an object very far away, essentially an infinite distance away. The light comes in parallel to one another, it goes through the objective, and the objective converges that light onto an image which is just, just about at the end, just past the, um, the focal point of the objective lens. Essentially it's at the focal point of the, of the objective lens. Since you want the second lens to work as a magnifying glass, you want to go ahead and take that image, which then becomes the object of the second lens, just inside the focal point of that second lens, which means that the two focal points in this case must overlap. In the case of a microscope, the focal points were very close to the lenses on both the front objective and the back eyepiece, but here the two must overlap. That means that the image of the first lens puts is placed right inside the focal point of the second lens so it can act as a magnifying glass. And you can see then that the inverted image caused by the first lens, the objective lens, is then greatly magnified by the Barlow lens and you have a large inverted image that you can look at which you tend to project towards infinity. The magnification of a telescope then becomes the focal length of the objective divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. That's why these big telescopes have these enormous long focal lengths for the objective to allow a larger magnification. As an example, let's say that the focal length of the objective is one meter and the focal length of the eyepiece is 20 millimeters for a typical amateur small telescope. You can then take one meter divided by 20 millimeters, which is 0.02 meters, and you have a magnification of 50. With Telescopes, you can do much about the focal length of the objective. That is fixed. You can't change it. You typically don't exchange the objective, but you can change the Barlow lens, the eyepiece. And so in order to change the magnification of the telescope, you tend to interchange different focal length Barlow lenses to, to get the proper magnification. We'll get into what the proper magnification of, micros of a telescope is later. So let's say that we change the Barlow lens and we go from a 20 millimeter lens to a 10 millimeter lens. So now you have the focal length of the objective, still a one meter, now divided by the focal length of the eyepiece, which is 10 millimeters, which is 0 0.01 meter. And now you change the magnification of the telescope to 100 from 50. And that's how we do that. That's how we change the magnification of telescopes. And yes, there is a reason why you want to change it. You don't always want to have the maximum or minimum or in between magnification. It has a lot to do with the, the seeing conditions, the type of thing that you're looking at, the angle of view that you desire, and various numbers of other things that you want to look at to determine what the proper magnification should be for your telescope. It's not all about magnification. It's much more about the amount of light you can collect, kind of like a microscope. The more light you can collect, the clearer your image is going to be, the better resolution you have. And so we'll get into all those things later as well. But that is the basic concept of the magnification of a telescope. And now we're going to get into the details of what we should do with it. And that is how it's done.